everybody, Papa Dennis here. Well, what would you say if you could get 512 really cool performances loaded into your Mo DX or your Montage for free? Because uh, you can. Uh, Yamaha's got them up on the website, and I'll put a link in the pinned comments below the video. So um, let me show you what they look like. You, you can load these into the keyboard as a library file, which is what I did. And when you do that, you end up with a brand new bank. And you can pull it up here. This is the category search page, of course. And you'll see there's a new bank called Motif XF Performances. And you get 512 of them, 16 per page, which means there are 32 pages of these things. So it's, um, it's, it's a very cool thing. And what I think these things, well, first of all, they're fun to go through. And, I, and I've gone through all 512 of them. And when I, when I found ones that I liked, I copied them over into the live set area. And I created a new bank over there called Motif XF, F, uh, I'm sorry, Motif XF Favorites. And here it is. And th these were my favorites. And yeah, two and a half pages. So uh, it's about 40 of them that uh, that I liked. Uh, of course, th th there are more in there that you probably like, more than 40 out of 512. So they're fun to play with, but also I think they're pretty useful as creative tools. When you pull up one of these performances and start to play, I think you'll get ideas. They, 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 can, they can inspire you. And, and I mean, it's fun. <laughs> Yeah, that's one called Sweet Peaches, and um, uh, I just started playing chords, and I came across the sequence of a C chord to an E flat major seven to an A flat major seven to a B flat major sixth down to the C. So that could be the basis for a song. I'm, you could you could write a melody around those chords and. Anyway, so I think these 512 free performances are, can be uh, an excellent creative tool. Now I'm going to just go through, um, show you the, the 40 that I liked and play for you some of the, some of the ideas that, um, that these things triggered for me. Oh, and also a couple of things to keep in mind. <clears throat> when, when you go through them... Um, Always try the mod wheel because it does interesting things. You never know what it's going to do. And also, um, try different scenes. Remember this one, uh, scene one, scene two, scene three, scene four. So you get a lot of variation. Uh, typically with different scenes and also you can um, you can you can play with the sliders to to um, to adjust the levels of different parts and I, I found that for most of these for, or at least for many of them I don't know about most but many of these performances have the drums as part one so if you need to uh, increase or decrease the volume of the drums um, very often slider number one here will do it for you Okay, and I've seen slider two used pretty often for the bass sounds, and then sliders three and four typically might be other keyboard and synth sounds. Not every performance is like that, but many of them are. Let's jump in, and I'll show you some of the ones that I selected that I liked, and I'll show you some of the ideas that they triggered uh, for me, okay?
I've got a performance loaded here called Latin for Beginners. And so it gives you this um, Latin beat. The interesting thing about this is it'll, it'll pick a root bass note that um, is not always entirely predictable. And sometimes it's very smart. And like, for example, if I play Yeah, what I'm playing here on my left hand is uh, I'm playing F, F, G, A, B flat, and D, right? F, G, A, B flat, D. So it's a... It's a very tight cluster G minor 9 chord, and, but somehow the keyboard's smart enough to play a G root bass note with that. And then when I go E, G, A, B flat, C, so E, G, A, B flat, C, it's smart enough to go to a C bass note. And if I, if instead I just, if I just F, A, B flat, and, and D, It'll give me a B flat bass, uh, bass note because it sees that as a B flat major seven. So by by adding that G in there, it tells it that it's a G minor nine chord. And then when I do that other cluster, E, E G A B flat C, it's smart enough to play a C a C bass note.
Thank you.